Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. We are on episode number 6 and in the last episode I set up a smeltery high up on this ledge here. I have a nice little overview of my village or my building. But today I'm going to make the Ignis Extruder. Hooray! And we don't have everything we need. So we need about um, 7 of those, 2 red... Oh, sorry, to redstone, some oak plank, we can start off with a piston, easy. Now, now the question is, do we have enough? We need this one, which is one of these in each corner, glass in each corner, and a gold ingot. A machine frame, and... We need to craft this, which I have the materials for. Excellent. And then we can craft the Ignis Extruder. Hooray! You have no idea. Um, now where do I want to place this? For now, it's going to be feeding into a barrel, which will in turn feed into... Yeah. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I'll place it there. I will set it to that. I will place a barrel, which is crafted like this, with just... Planks? Well, sorry, wood. Chest and uh, block there. So, let's clear the config. We just want to output there. Then I want to go pick up some water. Water. Well, that'd be good. And put it in there. And that's just one water. That'll be just enough for me. And then lava. Plop. And now this one will be producing cobblestone. And it will be doing that, well, forever. Until I have 4,000 of it. It's a lot faster than me standing here raking it, so I'm really happy with that. So let me pick up this lava here. I'll start with that. Oh, I almost dropped into the lava. That would have been bad. Now this is a bit of a tricksy thing to do. Um, I need... Well, actually, oh, let, lo let me lock that one. I need some of you. I will need to make some more of this. Just because I want to, first of all, make this safer to be on top of. And then I want to, how do I do this? I need to go below. And I need to actually break be uh, this one. I know I've just wasted some stone, but now we have really endless stone, which is good. On this, I need to make it like so. Let me just make sure that I'm crouching. And let me see. Not there. Not sure how to do this, really. Uh, I need to make certain there is lava there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Let me just break this. Should probably finish up this platform, make it a bit safer to stand on. And we can go upstairs, and let me just make sure that we have no light issues. I need to figure out how to make that area more proof. Because here... Oh, already 47. Excellent. Because here... And of course I need to do that from below. Like so. I'll break these blocks and make them into normal blocks. There we go. It's a lot of walking in this episode. I'm sorry about that, but you'll live. Um, let me set this and that. I will put lava there. Wait, no, I don't want to put the lava there. I put it one further out. 
just because I want to be able to walk here as well. So let's see. If I jump up here, we'll be there. Right. Again, we break this. We throw that crucible, almost dropping it down. Hmm. That would be catastrophic. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I would just have to craft another one, but it would still be annoying. Very much so. And I do that, and that should make the lava non-spill. Perfect. Now, this crucible will go on top of that lava. There. And I can just fill it with stone. And once I have a second crucible, I will put it there and uh, there. And I have three crucibles, and I will put a bucket here so I can just pour lava into that one. And later I will automate that and probably have some form of lava storage tank in this area, just for good measure. So, what do you want to do next? Let's take a look at this. I need to do these first. I didn't actually turn that quest in. Definitely should do that. Manual submit. Uh, what do we want? We did get the slime sapling, so this time I'm not that much a fan of the safari net. We can probably craft them. Yeah, with slime balls and leather and strings, so I'm going for the reward bag. And we did get a full guard cast. Well, thank you. And we also got a boat of feather falling. What do we get in this? Fireworks. Not really what I wanted, but okay. Next, the Accus Accumulator and the Autonomous Activator and the Vacuum Hopper. The Vacuum Hopper won't be easy for me to make until I have a diamond pickaxe, unfortunately, although I could make a vat. What is the recipe for the vat? It's Envar. Hmm. I might be able to do this. So let me get situated and uh, find out how to do this in a good way. And I just need to drop this away and just store everything. Did I put that new slimy sapling in here? I probably want to plant that as well. Cut down some trees and really do need to work on the farm as well. Oh, there's um, so much to do. I need to clear that as well. But first, now that I have infinite of this, I can start really working towards some uh, materials. I will make some dust here. Make some clay. And you know the drill, I'm gonna make uh, a certain little... This uh, clay, special clay. Mix it up with bone meal, and you get... Aw, come on. Ah. And let's grab all these, put these back. No! That could have been bad. Oh, did you see that? Whew. That was really scary. Really, really, really scary. Stone hammer. And let's go. Did I put something in there? No. And using a normal bucket. Dust, dust, dust. I now... I, I did spend a... Normal bucket on... Um, well, I did spend three iron on a normal bucket. Just because, you know, normal buckets. It's useful. And then we need to break these. That we can do with our hands. It takes forever, but it can be done. Actually, this one has a luck modifier now, so... I don't know. Uh, how much do we need in total? I need to make two more. So... 14. Oh, come on. 
Alexia. I'm really low on bone meal now, so I need to start working on a farm soon. But that's not something I can do just yet. There we go. Um, that's good enough. Now I should have one more bucket of lava ready here. Yes. I can place that there. And... Fill this one up. You can see it sh uh, slowly, slowly shrinking or like sifting down there. That's kind of awesome. Uh, where's I going? This one. Yep. So we now have three crucibles for lava. That will really help us out in speeding up the production of uh, lava itself. So. Let me get some few things ready and be right back with you. Alright, so I've actually got myself some invern. I'm smelting up a little bit of nickel here, but I want to make this one. I need two emerald, two diamonds. Oof, that's expensive. And we have the autonomous activator. This one will right click or left click, sneak or not sneak. Use items, uh, aim, high, low, level. This can do a lot of cool stuff. And it can import and output items as well. Um, I did just realize that I need... Uh, do I have tin? I think it's the tin one. Like this and tin. Yeah, the crescent hammer. So I can remove it. Now the cool thing with this... It can operate these. So let me just place one down here. Uh, there we go. Is that the right one? Yes. Now, look at this. If I go pick up a stack of gravel, and then we tell it to work only on the first slot, it will slowly work on this. Now I'm not sure how I want to do this because items when done pop up. That's not really optimal. I should probably surround this with uh, with I can actually turn you off. Yeah I can turn you off. Um, I should probably oh we got an emerald already very nice. I should put hoppers here. Maybe. Maybe hoppers. But I do want to make this one. The vat. It's from Mary Culture. And uh, if I understand this correctly, what I need to do is get some lava and some water. And it works. Nice. It has no interface, but it will just work here, I think. Should take about 15 seconds. I think. Um, yeah, because we need to make a vacuum hopper. And I have this, a vacuum hopper is a hopper, an ender pearl, and obsidian. So we do need to do this one. So we also need an aqueous accumulator. Hmm. The aqueous accumulator requires one of you. Well, we can make those. So we need that, that. We only have four glass, though. So we need to make a little, little bit more of that. Let's uh, do that right away. Just like this. make eight because it's easy. Um, we have lava in one of these? Yes. Now I can place down my last crucible. I just placed down a bit of you there. Excellent. Let's uh, make sure these are full. 
and store away that. Already seven stacks, 400 cobblestone. I will soon be able to start building some stuff. That's excellent. Um, right, let's uh, make the machine frame. Can I also make this? No. So let's uh, get the sand in here with more sticks. Just need one. No. Sorry, I need four. A total of three more. Let's harvest these in the meantime. So, I'm not really happy with the yield from these trees, but now that I have a lot of uh, stone available, I can slowly replace all these all these uh, half slabs here with stone slabs. It'll make it look a bit more crude. And I kind of like this wooden platform, but mm, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, what's I doing again? Smelting. See, my memory is really bad. There we go. Now I have everything I need. Definitely. So let's make the pneumatic servo. No. Glass and iron. Where is the redstone? Oh, I need two redstone. And uh, pneumatic servo, one of you. I don't need two. I shouldn't make two. And... A uh, bucket. What is that? Oh, it's tin. Let me just get get some. No, that's not tin. That's tin. Plop. And we have an Accus accumulator. Now we are only gonna have to craft the vacuum hopper. And for that we need a hopper. Simple. Like that, and we need a chest. My inventory is so full now. It's a good thing that I got that one, uh, because that saves me a lot of issues with this. A chest, a hopper, a ender pearl, and an obsidian one, and we have a vacuum hopper. Now we can place this one, uh, I don't know. Um, let's get a chest. Not sure this is gonna work or how this is gonna work, but ah, item output. And I put below somehow. Ah. No! Oh! Whew. I thought I lost it. Um, put that there. Put the output on top. Oh, I could make it on the bottom. Okay, well, that's fine. And like so. And turn this one off or on. I can just now make a lot of gravel and let this one do this. Experience output. Oh, can take experience as well. And there we go. Items going up here. Oh, this is excellent. Excellent news. We have a vacuum hopper working this one. So now I just need to wait until we have more emeralds and diamonds. Um, I do have... Yeah, I missed the diamonds and some more stuff, but that is good. I can just leave it at that, and later, once I have a working fluid system and automation on this one, I can also make sure that we have an ample supply of gravel into this one, because I can set up a igneous extruder going directly into a pulverizer, which is fueled by... Huh, say a magmatic dynamo a dynamo and yeah that's gonna be for a later episode though because i think we are way over time uh and i will see you guys in the next one hope you enjoyed it take care bye, -bye.